So you're making the move to South Carolina. Well, here are 10 things that you must know before you get here. What's up everybody, I'm Bill Olson, your favorite YouTubing realtor here in Charleston, South Carolina. And today we're talking about all the things that you must know before you move here. A lot of these are things that I had no clue of before I got to Charleston. Now before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, like this video, share it with your friends. Drop me a comment on what you learned when you first moved here as well. So let's get started. The number one thing that you need to know is that the state of South Carolina is separated into four geographical areas. We've got upstate, which is around the Greenville-Spartanburg area and into the Appalachian Mountains. This is where Clemson University is. We have the Midlands. The Midlands runs from about or Charlotte, North Carolina, down to Augusta, Georgia, right in the middle of the state, just like the name says. And in there is our capital of Columbia. The PD region is going to be your northeastern part of the state, where the cities that people most know there are Florence and then Myrtle Beach. And then you have the Low Country, which is the southeastern part of the state where I live in Charleston. Other cities in here you may have heard of are Somerville, Mount Pleasant, Hilton Head, and Beaufort. Number two is that our winters are generally pretty mild depending on where you live in the state. Now most people, because it says South Carolina, they think, oh, it's Southern and the winters are gonna be super mild. Well, here in Charleston, they are because we are further South. In Hilton Head and Beaufort, they're gonna be a little bit more mild. It still gets cold, but we're not gonna really see snow often, if ever. Now, when you get up into the upstate areas and the northern parts of the state, you know, it is common to see snow in the winter and it does get cold, but they still have the warm summers. Number three is that college football is huge. It is king here in South Carolina. Technically, we do have an NFL team, the Carolina Panthers, because they're in Charlotte, right on the border and they're supposed to encompass both states. That doesn't take away from the fact that if your plans don't include college football on Saturdays in the fall, you're probably not going to see your friends. Most people here are either Clemson Tiger fans or University of South Carolina Gamecock fans, and when those teams play, pretty much the whole state just shuts down for a few hours, except for the bars, which are incredibly busy. Number four was a huge pleasant surprise for me, and the barbecue sauce in South Carolina is mustard-based. Being from up north, to me, when I heard barbecue, it was a bottle that we got off the shelf from the grocery store, and we put it on anything that was on the grill, most likely chicken. Now, if you're not a mustard fan, that's fine. Most, if not all, barbecue restaurants that you go to, there's going to be a sauce caddy on the table, with all different kinds of sauces that you can put on there, um, from the mustard to vinegar-based to tomato-based. Some even have the white barbecue sauce. Sticking with the food theme, number five is that South Carolinians love a good oyster roast. In the colder months, they can seemingly be every weekend, whether it's a big organized event or just going over to a buddy's house. One thing that could shock you about these oysters is it's not gonna be the oysters that you get at a fancy restaurant where you go and you get six of them. No, our oysters here come in clusters and they are steamed over an open fire and dumped onto a wooden table with a big hole in the middle and everyone just stands around, shucks and eats oysters, throws the shells in the hole, grab your favorite cold beer, your shucker, some hot sauce and some crackers and you've got yourself a party. Number six is that you better get used to your tea sweet. So much so that one town right outside of Charleston here claims to be the birthplace of sweet tea, and that is Somerville. Through the town, they even have a sweet tea trail, and one of the stops is Mason, the world's largest sweet tea, which can hold 2,524 gallons of sweet tea. Number seven is our housing costs can be lower than the national average depending on where you live, of course. South Carolina as a whole 
has housing costs that are below average for the entire United States. But again, it all depends on where you live. The closer you get to the coast, the higher this cost of living is going to be. Here in Charleston, we're seeing a cost of living above the national average. Some of the bigger cities, if you want more affordable living, you can find that in Columbia, Florence, Greenville, and Spartanburg. Going along with the housing costs comes number eight, and we are one of the top 10 most property tax friendly states in the country. Now this is only for primary residences where our effective tax rate across the state is about a little over half of 1% of your property's value. Number nine is something I learned the hard way, and that is that the term bless your heart is not a compliment. Here in South Carolina, Southern charm and hospitality is alive and well. So basically saying bless your heart to someone is pretty much calling them an idiot, but in a nice way. And finally, we have what I think is the most important thing to know, and that is you should buy your bug spray in bulk. Here in South Carolina, we have a ton of bugs. One of the biggest pests that's often referred to as the state bird is the mosquito. And let me tell you, you only need to forget your bug spray once to never forget it again. And then there's the noceums, or officially named biting midges. They're called noceums because you can't see them, they're so small, but they'll just land on you and bite you and pester you. They are the worst on the coast in the salt marshes. I hope you enjoyed this video, folks. Here's a couple more videos for you, and don't forget to subscribe right here. If there's anything that I forgot or you think people need to know, drop that down in the comments below so that they can know everything before they move here to South Carolina. Have a wonderful day. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, like, ring that bell, and share this video with your friends. Bye.